A large number of fireworks were uncovered at a home in Shelton after the house caught fire over the weekend. And today, firefighters ran a controlled burn to dispose of those fireworks safely. News 8's Eva Zamaris has more on that. Crews were out here for hours today. And as you could see, all that's left of this home are those front steps. The sound of fireworks going off could be heard throughout a Shelton neighborhood on Thursday. It's kind of scary that this is so close to our home. This was all part of a planned controlled burn at a home on Bruce Drive. After we're told fireworks were uncovered inside the home in the basement and garage. It gives me reassurance that this is going to be handled in a controlled fashion. The discovery was made after Shelton's fire chief says they were called here for a fire Saturday night. There was a large quantity of uh, high caliber uh, fireworks within the residence. To dispose of these fireworks safely, a plan was formed with ATF to conduct this controlled burn. The Connecticut State Police Bomb Squad was brought in to assist with the Shelton Fire and Police Departments on scene as well, closely monitoring at all times. On the fire over on that side. I'm just glad that, you know, nobody was hurt. To ensure everyone's safety, the neighboring homes were evacuated, power was temporarily shut off, and residents were given the heads up this was happening. They notified by phone and the... Uh, Fire chief came out with notices and they put one in the mailbox and one attached to the door. We've learned from members of the Connecticut State Police Bomb Squad. There was an extremely large quantity of consumer grade fireworks within the home, which are illegal in Connecticut. As for the investigation, the cause of the fire remains under investigation by the Shelton Fire Marshal. And Shelton police say an arrest is expected as part of this investigation. Uh, it's been a great cooperative working relationship throughout this whole process for a better part of a week now. In Shelton, Eva Zamaris, News 8.